Evening all. Right, we're starting again. I've cut out the crash just because ha, we don't want to do that. And look where we crashed today. <clears throat> we actually crashed on the coast, which is... Uh, I guess that's actually not terribly ordinary. I was going through um, the forums. I've just literally, whenever I get into a game, like properly into a game, I just go nuts and I just start trolling every single um, forum post and, and website available for it. And I found that pretty much the, the way this works is it procedurally generates where you crash, which is awesome. Um, but what it also does is it, I don't think it's that common to drop you so near the coast, which I thought was maybe a cool thing. Um, and what you're going to see from the word go is me rush to build a log cabin because log cabins I read up seem to be um, bugged at the moment. I, I could be wrong, but from what I know is you know they don't seem to kind of attract um, hostiles if that's the fair word. So anyway, you'll see as we go. Um, to be honest, this I, I can I just can only describe this game in in words of awesome and brilliant and. This is exactly what kind of indie gaming should be. It's just four dudes who've created a bloody brilliant game and they've just gone for it and they've made something extraordinarily brilliant and awesome. So, and we're going to play it and we, I've played this a huge amount. I think already I've only owned it like three, four, five days, something like that, and I have just played the crap out of it. And to the point where now I look back at this as I do this blib blab blib um, voiceover, the reality is this is way back because you know what I do now for about the next two days is build a base. Um, and to be honest, it's really odd because I don't get attacked too much. But when I do, holy shit, you will see it. You will see it literally. We on the first night where I properly got attacked, you see them. They kind of you know come to the walls, but they run away. Um, but when you when they actually finally do attack, oh my god, and it's bloody terrifying because it's, it, you just feel absolutely isolated and against it because you realize actually you're screwed big time um, for the length of this game there's no there's no way you're gonna survive this unless you can destroy enough of them where they leave you alone which is a thing apparently you can do that so I'm really quite excited about that now the first thing I decided to do here was to build the log cabin I know it's a huge undertaking but it's advisable to do because what it effectively does is it gives you a really good spawn base. It's not like the hunter log cabin or whatever that is because that's a load of bollocks and it doesn't protect you from anything. Whereas for some reason if you have the log cabin it does actually stop. They can't get in it. Now I could be wrong but certainly from the whole length I've been playing this they've not been able to get in. Post in the comments if they've got in yours. It could be where we placed it as well. So we actually placed it with some cleverly uh, set up barricades um, and and just to be honest you know when it got dodgy I just ran away so as I'm building this you know I would just get very used to running away and hiding which again seemed to work so I mean, again I, I don't know I mean I, I love the fact that I've kind of I don't know gone for it with this <laughs> I think there's part of me that just said to myself right if we're gonna do this we're gonna do it right and at this point I'm so vulnerable and I'm at risk of everything I'm very very vulnerable indeed but um, eventually you get to the point where the, the balance tips and you are then in control and it's so simple I mean the easiest way to do this is to build a log cabin surround uh, log cabin, the hunters uh, cabin you know the hunters slanted roof thing surround it by three barricaded walls they can't climb over them and then maybe make them a bit longer if you've got time for them to get the wood. And then frankly, quite honestly, frankly, just put fire campfires everywhere and collect all the leaves you can. And then seriously, you're going to just burn the hell out of them. If they come near you and they get on that campfire and they set on fire, they're dead. And there's no, there's no survival for them. They're fucked. And this is, God, this is good. Seriously, I can't, I can't describe how great this game is. Um, some dead dudes already. I'm not sure where they came from. They are actually just part of the scenery, so I can't I can't chop them up for their bits yet. But we're not going to do effigies yet. We do effigies finally once we start killing them. At the moment, I actually only take on a couple of them um, when I'm out when I'm basically running away. Um, and they're actually quite easy to kill once you learn how to do it. You just strafe around them and you just sort of smack them a bit. Um, you even get to the point now again post in the comments if this has happened to you where you get one basically on the ground and then he gets to his knees and just bows his head and that is freaky as balls because I didn't know what to do so I just twatted him and took his head <laughs> 
so I guess I am a bit of a dick, <laughs> deserving of my hated of my hated status. But um, I don't know. To be honest, I think the the thing to do is just quickly get some uh, a base built. Really, I mean, um, I searched the whole island, um, just literally crouch walking everywhere, and I can tell you what that took some goddamn time. Um, but once I've done that, you realise actually the island's not that big, and there's there's really there's a lot better spots maybe than what I picked here, but. Um, I guess I was just of the opinion that, you know, sod it, if, um, uh, I guess I'm just of the opinion, just go for it, sod it, you know. And to be honest, let's just keep building, keep eating, keep building, keep looting for health and booze and molotovs, and they just, they just work brilliantly. Um, eventually your, your inventory will break, and you will lose the ability to have anything other than sticks, rocks, and maybe the other, you know, some bits and bobs, but you lose all your health, all your molotovs, and all the bombs which is disaster to be honest that's pretty much save ended so you know i wouldn't get too attached to your save at the moment the base we built i'm so pleased with it. literally there's probably another seven or eight videos to come after this one i'm afraid of us getting to the point where we got the base because when you see what we built we it was just such a joy to build um and we did use a little bit of i guess hijinks with saves and such so if it looked pretty dodgy we would just run away and we'd then reload it etc etc so you know we kind of went for it but all in the first day we built this this log cabin it is possible you just have to build as quick as you can just have lots of fires as well for when you know if somebody does attack you they can just and just get them to come across the fire and you'll be good to be honest fire is the best thing in this game because it's it's just the ultimate weapon and really just go for it go and build as quick as you can and you'll be surprised how quickly you can get um the logs together all this um, and again I would stress the the game's AI is, is odd it adds it acts in a very odd way so sometimes we've had um, like I say we've had them bow down in front of me where I'm not sure actually what they're doing um, we've also had it where they've they've seen us and then just carried on walking they're not interested they yeah they actually see us they point towards me and then just carry on their way so I've got to admit I am amazed at the AI it is bloody good and I think to be honest at the moment the saver I've just literally finished playing before I did this I think I've got to the point where they know not to attack the base at all anymore they're still coming and all they're still placing their effigies around the base but they're actually so scared to come near the base now um, because every time they do they're losing two or three dudes maybe more at times because Firstly, they run onto the fire, which gets them killed. There are, there are the most amazing traps in this game as well. And seriously, traps are bloody funny because traps work really well. Um, unfortunately, they, once they reset, you have to reload the games to get them to work. So every time you sleep, just then reload the game, if that makes sense. And then the traps reset. I don't think that's a cheat because, quite frankly, the traps, don't, you can't reset them currently using any other mechanic. Hopefully that shows you how much I've got into this game. I have researched this game like crazy. Um, and I've got to admit, it is it is bloody, bloody impressive. Um, I'm just loving it, I really am. Uh, so keep watching. You're going to see probably a couple more videos where we fast forward all of this. Because again, we built this so quickly and we just went for it. Um, I'm probably gonna, then going to jump straight to the defense of the base stuff. And then um, I'll show you some exploration videos maybe in a bit as well. So in the future, we'll show you that. Um, because when I went into that cave network that I've shown you in the last video, I went back in there. Um, never again. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Never again. The things I saw in there. Um, yeah. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not ready to talk about what I saw because it was terrifying. <laughs> um, but I tell you what, this game, this game, guys, is shaping up to be bloody good. So, you know, think about it. If you get, if you've got, if you like crafting, if you like survival horror, then I think this game's for you. If you're, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an equivalent here. Um, I think maybe if you're, if you're a fan of things like the Amnesia game, you remember that one? It's not as psychological as that. It, well, it kind of is, but um, I would recommend that to you this to you because it's very similar to that game in terms of it's just an all-out scary hell of a scary game and i think you're gonna see if we, as we go on and you'll see what we do um hopefully you're gonna like it so there we go hope you enjoyed that join us next time as we continue to build <laughs>